talk today about um, a current project, the Sentient City Survival Kit. And it's a project which consists of a collection of artifacts for survival in the near future sentient city. Not quite the smart city that we've been promised by computer scientists and engineers, but one that's not so dumb either. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> each item in the kit has a little story behind it. This is serendipiter. In the near future, finding our way from point A to point B won't be the problem, but um, possibly maintaining consciousness of what happens along the way might be more difficult. Uh, Serendipiter is an alternate navigation app for the mobile phone, which helps you find something by looking for something else. Um, you can download it for free um, from the uh, App Store. Um, simply um, choose a destination or let the app um, decide one for you. Um, once you've um, selected that, um, you can uh, increase or decrease the complexity of the route that the app generates for you, depending upon how much time you have. Uh, once you're happy with the route, just tap start and you're on your way. Turn-by-turn um, -turn directions from a web routing service um, are combined with instructions for movement and action uh, designed to introduce somehow small slippages or minor interruptions with an otherwise optimized and efficient route. Um, follow the directions diligently, and um, you're sure to find um, new encounters in the city which you might have become um, overly accustomed to. In the near future sentient shopping center, um, item level tagging and discrete data sniffing will become not just common corporate uh, culture, but also popular criminal pastimes. Uh, this popular product line consists of his and hers underwear designed to sense hidden RFID readers and alert their wearer to their presence. Small vibrating motors sewn into strategic locations in the garments um, are activated when the RFID antenna detects the presence of a reader nearby. Um, wear these garments while you're out and about to make sure that uh, shopping remains a stimulating, if no longer secure, experience. <laughs> In the near future world, uh, where all network traffic is monitored by smart filters, where access privileges are denied and granted on the fly based on your credit card transaction histories, and where uh, your bandwidth is a function of your market capitalization, standard commuter gear includes this travel mug designed for creating ad hoc dark networks for communications along a morning's commute. The mug incorporates a mobile phone in the lid of the mug, together with a small wireless uh, mesh network uh, radio and microcontroller in its uh, shell. Caffeine-fueled commuters share short messages as they um, go about their commute to work. You tap out a message on the side of the mug and make a drinking gesture uh, to broadcast it to other mugs on the network. Others get the message instantly and can respond in kind. Uh, the more mugs, the merrier. Um, each extends the network. Uh, half a dozen mugs, in fact, are enough to create a network along an entire train under normal conditions. Okay, finally, um, when human vision is no longer the only game in town, don't leave home without this unique umbrella studded with infrared LEDs uh, designed to enable you to flirt with computer vision algorithms running on advanced surveillance systems. The umbrella consists of 256 LEDs inserted into its canopy, uh, powered by lithium polymer batteries concealed in its stock. Uh, these LEDs are visible only to CCD surveillance systems um, set to a night vision mode. Um, now, these systems commonly track figures using an algorithm to distinguish moving objects in the foreground uh, from an image of, from a static background. Uh, by turning the umbrella on and off, you can alter the registration of foreground and background pixels stored in system memory and thereby frustrate attempts by the algorithm to track moving objects in the image. In closing, I should say that you know, I'm, I'm really less invested in the business of projecting future trends in technology, um, but more focused on creating concrete artifacts in the present around which we might organize a debate about just what kind of future we might want. Thanks. Thank you.